Hello Sagittarius Capricorn. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. Thank you for all the support, likes, subscribes, views, comments. I appreciate each and every one of you. So I read the cards and you decide what applies to you and what doesn't. So just take what connects and leave what doesn't. Feel free to vice versa the king and queen on the card. So if one is queen and it would be a king for you, feel free to vice versa that. So the oracle cards will go here all for you and the tarot cards over here which will be the people around you but you could show up over there as well. So I am starting with a new deck of cards and it is the Dragon Wisdom deck. So this is by Christine Arana Fader and illustrated by Anna Koska. I'm really picky about my decks that I use and I really love this deck. It is just beautiful so we're going to start pulling two of those with your reading. And I'm using the book, but after this reading, I'm not going to be using the book. So the first one you have is nutrition. So I already do did read this in the book. It talks about how um, taking care of yourself, obviously. I can read it just to make sure, but kind of... I was like, nutrition, really? When I pulled up ones for myself, I am like, uh. So it says, um, you are aware of the importance of diet and nutrition. If you draw this card, think long and hard about this subject. If you are a vegetarian, make sure you are getting all the important nutrients you need. Have your blood, iron, and key vitamin levels checked. Change your diet for a month and try to eat light-filled food. Distinguish between food that keeps you alive and food that truly nourishes. Base half your diet on foodstuffs that have life within them, such as fresh fruit and vegetables. Bread is staple food, but an apple provides nourishment for life. Both are important, so do not make any judgments. Eat lots of herbs during this time. So you've drawn this card as it is important for you to be powerful, healthy, and clear on your path right now. Connect with the green dragon, look at it properly, and give thanks. It is watching over you and wants to show you where the powerful vibrations from holy plants come from. So it talks about um, plants, I guess for a lot of you who are vegetarians, or maybe some of you know vegetarians, for those of you who aren't. It may help you understand your friends that are vegetarians. So this is fear, wow. So let me get this one. So there's some kind of fear maybe around nutrition. Uh, stress eating, there could be a lot of things going on. Not wanting to eat, there's a lot of diseases. Um, I know my sister had a very powerful disease, gastroparesis, that it was very hard, she couldn't eat. So the red fire dragon would like to teach you that feeling and sensing are forms of intuitive knowledge. If your emotions are blocked or lie buried by suffering, pain, abuse, or fears, access your inner wisdom, you will also be obstructed. Ask the red fire dragon to free you from all the negative experiences and their crystalline structures within you. These structures are often located in your back, causing pain and rigidity. They can sometimes also disturb the harmonic energy flow in your organs, our organs it says. Where there is fear, there can be no love. So wow, it just talks about open your channel, slip through the magma, the livelihood, um, and may every living thing be happy and be free of fear. So there's videos on YouTube that you can listen to while you sleep or while you're awake that try to help you clear your chakras and open your third eye. And that would be good to listen to, but there's also energy healers out there for some of you who um, um, need energy healers where you have holes and tears in your aura and bad people sense this and they can get in there and just be evil and it really bothers you because you have hurts that haven't healed, if that makes sense. So check that out if you're interested. So the first one of the... Chakra Wisdom deck is Ace of Swords. So somebody wants to communicate to you. Somebody wants to say something. And then you have the tower. So there's going to be a tower moment after this person communicates. It's not going to be good. So Two of Cups is usually my true love card. Somebody who sees you as the most beautiful person in the world. 
most handsome nine of swords. So there's some sort of regret and a tower moment around love, you guys. Wow, wow, wow. So I don't know if you got really sad and you're not eating because of a love situation. And then fear set in that you feel like you can't eat now. Um, wow. So let's keep going. And you have death. So there's death. This person reached out and communicated. And it was so harsh what they said that it ended something. So the Hierophant over the tower. So the Hierophant could indicate a lawyer, divorce, courthouse. It could also indicate somebody having telepathy, psychic ability, ability, being able to know what's for their highest good. So this could indicate that you, Sagittarius Capricorn, had some kind of feeling this was coming. You had some indication, whether it's a funny feeling, never knew what it was. You seem to have some sort of intuition. So Nine of Cups talks about feeling secure and powerful in yourself, that you feel proud in some way. And the sun, look at this. So this has two meanings of this deck because it has a chariot in it as well. So you're either traveling or you're moving, happiness is coming to you, or somebody wants to communicate to you and it's going to make you very, very happy. So the next one is Four of Coins. So whatever ended, excuse me, who you are blocked off to somebody, you are keeping your love and yourself close to you. Princess of Cups. Somebody wants to offer you an apology. An apology. The next one is Seven of Coins. Sorry for that noise. So somebody is looking at um, inventory. They're taking inventory of a lot of assets and look at this is sneaky so here you have the sun and the chariot good stuff and somebody sneaky's coming in so it always works that way it seems like you know there's always going to be somebody who can't be happy for you and has to try and cause problems keep you down not want you to heal so the chalk or the mystical cat's tarot deck is ten of earth. So ten of earth tells me there was ending to a place or a situation where you hung out with certain people, family or friends or both, and that was what ended. Somebody betrayed you, a friend or a family member in a situation. You have strength overriding them coming in saying they're sorry. And abundance nine of C. See, it keeps coming up for you. You have a beautiful future. Your future looks secure, it looks abundant, um, and the Empress. So, I, like I said, sometimes you show up over here, and sometimes I can tell and sometimes I can't. But I just get a feeling. So I do feel like the abundance is for you, and the Empress is probably you as well. So that would be saying that, you know, your future looks good. You, good things come to you, and people are jealous of that. You have to kind of be aware that that could happen. There's people who don't think you're deserving of the things you get, but good things are coming to you. So don't be fearful and start eating better. So the first one is insightful and grounded, 49. Ground and rebalance your energy, bring your awareness into the now rather than focusing on the past or the future. This is the coral, and when the coral starts the foundation, abundance can come to it. New people, new things can come, new happy. I see happiness and stability right there. It's coming to you. So look at this wild 30. This is the sea turtle in there and yellow tang, su surrounded by prosperity. Your attention is being drawn to the infinite nature of reality. That which exists outside the known is beyond measure. So this is the yellow tang. See, yellow and yellow is very abundant and happiness. So good things are coming to you. You had the sun, but the universe wanted you to remove certain people from your life so they didn't take your abundance. I hope you understand this. So look at this. Inspiration 11 is a master number. So this talks about somebody having a really tough time. We've already established that where you had a soul hurt, a very harsh betrayal. There's crocuses coming out of the snow and diamonds. So I do feel like you were a diamond in the rough before and now you're a diamond. Like this person hurt you, but in a way they made you uh, more aware of the people like this that are out there. 
So transformation 16. 16 is healing and you see how her hair is kind of flying back. This tells me something is going to come in really fast and change, a healing. I don't know if somebody's going to show up. I see healing here too. I see where you felt like the lone wolf and you kind of immersed in yourself and printed on yourself um, to make yourself strong, I feel. But it's changing and you have succeeded. You're bringing positivity and abundance to your life, but you just need to keep the sneaky negative person away. So time out 22. You have two master numbers, 11 and 22. The universe is saying there's a time out for some reason. They want you to take a step back and rest, maybe to heal and get over this negative um, sneaky person or people. And then magnanimous me, 27. So this talks about something coming full circle that you're going to feel powerful, beautiful, a lot of stuff. I want to see this number. 11, I forgot that's what it was. Okay, so thank you so much for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. This is a beautiful reading, so you have some fears, you've been hurt, but you're going to a way beautiful place than where you have came out of. Bless you, Sagittarius Capricorn.